Hey everyone, welcome to this week's subscriber question. This question is an interesting one because we're gonna be talking about plant steroids. And this question comes from Rational Learner. And Rational Learner wants to know, Like I mentioned in the introduction, Rational Learner wants to know about plant steroids and are they effective for muscle growth? And this is an interesting topic. I had not ever heard of plant steroids or sterols. And after doing a bit of digging, it seems that the answer is, well, at least my answer is leaning towards no. I'm getting it from two different areas. So one is looking a little bit into those US patents. They actually used uh, studies that were, well, we'll just put it not very well done, uh, mainly because they compared, or at least in one of those studies, they essentially concluded that plant steroids would lead to a greater protein synthetic response, as well as decreasing body fat and decreasing cholesterol. All sounds great, but the issue is that when they compared two groups, they had one group that was a placebo group, and they had another group that consumed plant steroids with protein. So that doesn't exactly make a whole lot of sense. How can you give one group nothing and give the other group the intervention, drug, or whatever that you want to use, which is plant steroids in this situation, as well as a massive, massive confounding factor of added protein. So one group got considerably more protein than the other group, and the group that didn't receive protein lost muscle mass over time, and the group that received the protein plus the plant steroids gained muscle mass over time. So that's a terrible, terrible design. You can't exactly get any sort of conclusions off that. So that's one thing. The US patents, I just, I, I don't see it. The second reason is because there have been studies very few studies that have actually looked at a variety of different plant steroids and shown absolutely no differences in weightlifting populations. So young weightlifting populations, so no difference in fat mass, fat-free mass, uh, cholesterol, any of those. Uh, even I believe they looked at liver uh, production, how well it's functioning, again, saw no differences. So there, there are a bunch of different measures. They also looked at testosterone, again, no differences. So in terms of plant steroids, it just doesn't seem that the evidence, at least so far, is pointed towards them being effective. Now that said, people think steroids, they think, well, it has to work. Well, the truth is that a steroid, really all that is, is essentially looking at something inside the cell that can move across the cell membrane. So while our typical different proteins like cytokines will attach to the actual outside of the cell to the cell membrane and then lead to a signaling cascade into the cell, what nuclear receptors or steroids, be that plant or really any sort of steroid like testosterone, easily moves across the cell membrane and can get, get into the nuclear membrane as well and get into the nucleus and then act on particular pieces and strands of DNA. That's all that means. That does not necessarily mean that you're gonna be gaining uh, any sort of protein synthetic, massive protein synthetic boost. It just so happens that testosterone specifically has a, a, a large effect on our protein synthetic pathway. So that's why it's considered an anabolic steroid, but that doesn't necessarily mean that everything that's labeled steroid is necessarily anabolic. And in this situation, it seems that the evidence is pointing towards most likely not. So hopefully that answered your question, Rational Learner, and anybody else that was interested, you guys voted on it. And as usual, there's a new subscriber poll up. You guys can vote on the questions that you find most interesting and feel free to ask questions down below for your questions to be put up on the subscriber poll. And with that said, have a good one, guys. See you.